Staying with China, the country has achieved a historic milestone by landing its Chang-8 six probe on the far side of the moon and the probe successfully collected the first ever samples of lunar soil from this unexplored region and lifted off from the moon's surface on Tuesday. Now Chinese experts believe that this successful mission has established a strong foundation for building a research base on the moon. Researchers at the University of Science and Technology in China have made notable progress in techniques for constructing lunar bases. They aim to make the establishment of sustainable settlement in space a reality and the research team has found several solutions to the unique challenges of establishing sustained extraterrestrial settlements on the moon's ultra-high vacuum environment. At Wuhan's National Center of Technology Innovation for Digital Construction, a model of a lunar station with egg-shaped structures is on display. The actual shaped Yahuzun can grapple with extreme environmental challenges on the moon. What's more, its design features a two-story hollow structure that incorporates an internal heating system. It can reduce the consumption of materials so a balance between how it is consumed and how it performs can be achieved. Now, these structures include airbags that can withstand moonquakes and provide thermal insulation, making them suitable for astronauts living and working spaces. Building durable structures on the moon has been a significant challenge. So how do Chinese scientists plan to accomplish this? Well, they have discovered that 3D printing technology offers a promising solution. The Chang'e 6 probe landed on the moon's far side on Sunday morning and completed a critical phase of its mission when its sender loaded with samples from the unexplored side of the lunar surface lifted off and the probe carrying the first samples from the moon's far side entered lunar orbit early Tuesday, Beijing time and the probe's return trip to Earth is expected to take about three weeks with a landing projected in China's inner Mongolia region around June 25th. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.